You don't know me, but I know you, the infamous Phantom. Now, I always thought that the agency's code names were a bit overdramatic, but yours, yours definitely suits you. You're not going to speak? Hmm, interesting power play. Allow me to introduce myself then. My name is Lenore Colt. Ah, now you recognize me. Forgive me for taking the liberties and calling you on your personal cell phone, but by now I think we're past formalities. You came to my mansion to assassinate me after all. You took out all of my guards, but you couldn't quite find me, could you? It's not your fault, of course. You did your job excellently. It was just that I was informed ahead of time of your arrival. When I heard from one of my sources that you have been sent to kill me, I was thrilled. I heard so many stories about you. The agency really began to gain recognition again after you joined. All of the arms dealers, politicians, and drug lords that I personally call my dearest friends. They became silent at the mention of your name. Now, they've all had multiple mercenaries try to off them before, myself included. But you, you strike a certain terror in their hearts. I'm sure they pray every night that you won't be assigned to kill them one day. But I thought to myself, perhaps they were overreacting. I don't mean to stroke my own ego, but none of them had a history of mercenary work like I did. Oh, I was good. I was very good. At times, I lie awake at night, wishing I could go back to doing field work. How I loved the feeling of sinking my blade into a target's neck. But now I run my own organization. Who wants to get their hands dirty when you could send others to do it for you? Anyway, I digress. When I heard about your impending arrival, I was still skeptical. I wanted to see what the fuss was all about. If you really earned the fear that you've struck into so many people's hearts. Instead of leaving for one of my safe houses, I stayed right in the mansion, waiting for you. I had every intention of killing you, of course. You dare come into my house, my domain, and try and kill me? I don't care how handsomely you were paid. That is very, very rude. I would have tortured you at first, for the insult, and to see if you knew who exactly contracted the hit on me. But when I saw you, when I saw you work, God, I was in awe. I'm not one that's easily impressed, Phantom. You are truly an artist with that knife. I thought the art of the blade was long gone, replaced with loud guns and cowardly snipers. But with you, I saw an awakening. I saw a reflection of myself in your work. Your swiftness, your dexterity, the grace and strength behind every strike. Even though my men were armed to the teeth with the latest artillery, you cut them down like they were armed with toy guns. I followed you while you were looking for me. I watched the way you move, the way you stalked through my manor, your ability to navigate through the dark halls like the ghost that you are, and your tracking skills are impeccable. I pride myself in my ability to go through places unseen, but your keen ears still hurt me. You nearly caught me a few times. The fight that would have ensued if you did find me? My dagger crossing against yours. It gives me chills just thinking about it. But I decided that I didn't want to hurt you. 
Why would an artist of the night attack her kindred? We are very much alike, you and I. You really are the whole package. Intelligent, ruthless, devilishly attractive. Like nothing I've ever seen before. Now, as to why I've called. Other than just to sing your praises, I wish to make you an offer. I've seen your work firsthand now. I believe that your special talents would be best utilized in my agency. Speaking of which, is the Ice Queen still running your organization? Blair Jones. She was my mentor, you see. My master. She trained me, taught me everything I know. She was my teacher, my friend, and my lover, though she would never admit to it. It was all about professionalism with her, sticking to the strict guidelines that she implemented, that a mentor and a pupil relationship wouldn't be right. Mm, but I managed to convince her otherwise. It felt so right. Though she was cold and calculating, her body was so warm beside mine. When you get the chance, tell her I said hello. Tell her that I'd be welcome to have her if she could put our differences aside and stop by. Though, now I take it as a huge insult that she accepted a contract to take me out. Did she even have a contract? Or was it by her will? She even sent her best agent to do the job. She must really want me gone. <laughs> Tell her that I accept her challenge, and that I'm at least gracious enough to warn her ahead of time, through you, that I plan on having someone come after her now. Can you do this for me? My dear phantom, though I do find it quite attractive that she is still pursuing me in this way, it shows that she still has passion for me. Tell her I'm a bit disappointed that she didn't come herself. Tell her that no one else could ever fight me and please me like she had. Unless... Perhaps, you're interested in giving it a try? Are you really up for the challenge? We would make beautiful art together, not just in the bedroom. Forgive me, I've riled myself up quite a bit. Now, back to business. I wouldn't just have you as a paid subordinate like she does. You would be my lover. My soldier, my knight, you would fight for your queen, and of course I'd pay you quite handsomely. Is that what you want? Money, power, I can give you all of this, you know. Forgive me for sounding a bit possessive. I suppose it's just always been in my nature to be. I don't like sharing. Leave the ice queen and be mine. You don't have to make your decision right away, though. As tempting an offer as I've made it, I'll allow you a few weeks to decide before I contact you again. Have a good night, my phantom.